I'm going to take this realistic dummy hand and stick it into the chain end sprocket while the bike is running to convince you to never ever do this, or if you are doing it, to stop. But before I do that, I'm gonna go through and actually show you how I clean the chain. So I got my buddy's bike right here. It's absolutely filthy. So let me show you the products and how I do it. So here's the before. So this is all the stuff I personally use. I have my Motul brush right here, chain lube, chain cleaner, and I have the original spray cleaner and polish. This is what I use to pretty much clean the entire bike and a bunch of microfiber cloths. All right, so the first thing I do Get the chain cleaner and just start spraying away. Do it on the outside and I go down here on the inside as well. I know it's getting all over the tire and rim, but I clean that at the very end. Next, I take my scrubber and I start scrubbing. So right now I'm pulling this way to get the back side of it. And then I push forward and then I push that way, all three sides with force. And I also get down on the chain over here and I push down this way and I lift up. Next, I take my microfiber cloth and I just start wiping all this crap off. Pretty filthy. As you can see, it's starting to get a little bit better. So I just keep on doing this. I just keep on doing it. I go a little bit slow like this and I try to really get down in there and just get it all nice and clean. Just wipe it off. As I'm doing it, kind of do the sprocket a little bit, but I'm mainly just focusing on the chain right now. Go back and forth, get super dirty, switch it to a different spot, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I usually get a new one, get a little spray on the rag itself. And I clean all the sprocket around here. I go right up against the back side of the sprocket like this. Do a couple spins. See? Getting better. And I get the bolts. Try to really get each side of the bolts. Sprocket. This takes a little bit more time. Especially since this bike is so filthy. By the way, everyone, I'm up here at my uh, mechanic shop, Moto Mecca, on YouTube and Instagram. And since my bike is um, unavailable at the moment, no, I didn't sell it. Um, he's letting me clean his chain and there wasn't much protest from him. <laughs> he was like, sure, you can clean my chain. He probably got it extra dirty just so I could do it. And I flip it over and then I clean the back side of the sprocket. Quite the difference already. And you see right here, the sprocket itself, like the teeth are kind of dirty. So I like to kind of get in here and then just try to get off all the extra crap. You see that? So this is where I go super slow. I try to wipe off as much gunk on this side and I'll do this to both sides as well. See all that? A little bit and clean. A little bit and clean. There you go. This stuff is kind of caked down there so it takes a little bit longer. All right, now what I do is I add the lube on there. I've seen a lot of people do this before. They just kind of spray everything. The only real spot to put it is down in the chain. So I make sure I'm going down inside of it. And then just directly on top a little bit for about one lap or so. You're like, man, now the rim is dirty. The tire is dirty. Everything's dirty. So what do you do now? Well, now I clean everything. This is the spray I use to clean absolutely everything. I clean the entire bike like this. So first I get a nice good soaking. Also the rim right here, a lot of people don't get. First I just do the rim itself over one lap. So the thing about con this is consistency. You do this once a week, well then it'll never build up to be a lot. So there's the one side and I come in here and do this side. I can feel the wax on there now, it's really sticky. Then usually I wait to do the arms till I get to the other side, just so I know I don't miss anything on one side. And if I would have thought about it, I usually put on gloves so my hands aren't getting all dirty and greasy and luby, but oh well. That's pretty good. As you can tell from where we just started, it's already a big improvement. So let me go to the other side. 
And with my thumb, I'm kind of doing the edge of the tire right here. I'm not actually cleaning the tire tire that hits the ground, just the sidewall of it. And now I go in here and I do the arms. And once I go back to the other side, I'll look at it, make sure I didn't miss anything on the other side. So you figure you just cut this time in half if you do this more frequently. Now I just clean, since I'm already back here, or I use, the, I use this spray to clean my entire bike. So this is what I do about probably once a month. Well, every time I get back from riding, <laughs> every time I get back from riding, I clean my bike once it cools down. I clean out the whole thing except for the rims. And then once a week I do the chain and sprocket and the whole bike. Then my theory is if I could touch it, I clean it. So as far as I could reach around here and there, I try to get the spring, everything. Anything I could touch that my finger's getting into, I clean it. Inside of the sprocket one more time. There you go. So that was before we saw earlier. And here's the after. Quite the difference. So before I turn on the bike and throw this into the sprocket to see the absolute carnage, I also made another video with the other hand demonstrating the importance of gloves. And I made two other videos with the fake dummy head showing the importance of a full face helmet versus a half helmet. So you can check out all three of those videos in the pinned comment of this one. All right, everyone, here we go. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Now that the bike is all clean, the chain is all clean, time to destroy it. So remember, we're professionals. Don't try this at home. Turn your bike on while cleaning the chain. Look at that. Look at that. His hand is ripped apart and it is inside. Dude. I don't even know where the, oh look at, here's the other half, here look at. Here's your wrist. Dude, that was freaking disgusting. I don't even know where the other part went. Is it all just mangled? It's all in there. Oh, so I put this in neutral. I might throw up. I got the bones. Oh. Here we go. Let's see what's going to happen. Never turn your bike on while cleaning the chain. gonna be your hand everyone come good close up of this that that's gonna be your hand if you think you want to save time and be lazy and get your damn finger stuck in there it's gonna rip everything apart and keep in mind everyone you're like oh well, I'll just keep my hand over here your cleaning rag might get stuck and then inadvertently you could like pull or twist your finger maybe just your pinky finger gets caught but 
don't do that. <laughs> there are times where something that could seriously jack you up, take another extra minute and really think about what you're doing besides being lazy, because this is just life altering. Don't ever do that. <laughs> My God. Oh, can you imagine? Oh. Do you know what that means? Now I gotta reclean the reclean the chain and spark and everything. Get all this get all this meat off of here. That's that's gross.